Right. So the TV people, right? If they can come through the TV, what's potentially keeping us from going out through the TV? Um, I don't know if you've ever tried to press your face through a piece of glass, but it doesn't really work super well. Uh, according to you, it definitely works for some people. I feel like they're doing a little bit more than just trying to push their face through a piece of glass. I mean, we can try. I'm more than willing to try and smash your face into a TV as much as it takes. I'll get a running start. <laughs> At this point. Holy oh, shit. Right, so what do you want to do about Captain fucking comes through the TV? Well, I uh, wait here got in the this car. I'll climb up in a tree, fucking wait until he comes after you, and I'll just fucking slice him in half. Does that make you happy? Holy shit, Mike, give me a spot hit and roll. Oh, God. No. Oh, God. No. I got it. That's third. Wow, something interesting. Very slowly making its way around. Uh, the the crowds that are watching the firemen busy cleaning we up off shit. into the woods. We're on the edge of the woods. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's, edge of the woods. It's not that within, far. Uh, okay. Cool. Right. In in the distance, you see another car, kind of a big black boxy type car, slowly making its way around the uh, the crowds and shit like that. Thought I'd mention that. A bigger, big black boxy car? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like, you remember the movie Men in Black, the car that they drove around in in the first yeah. movie? Kind of like that. Yeah. Uh, Tim, it's, you see that car back distant. there? Very distant. Hard to see. All right. So let's, let's go across town or however the hell we get across town. Uh, try not to use the same road this guy's on. Let's go hit up the Super Duper Mart. Break in there. Um, there, there are two roads. There are literally two roads. There's one <laughs> that I has the house. We'll use road. You're the driving, one that has Mike, so else. Where do you want to go? So it's coming towards uh, towards us. Is um, slowly uh, on the uh, on the the map here. Is it sure. on the uh, Bolorama side um, or the like police station side of the office building? Well, right now it's it's on the it's on the uh, Bolorama side of the office building, uh, but it is coming this way, and you are out of roads unless you want to go further west. Yes, um, I would like to go further west. No problem. You guys drive through the woods, and eventually, in the distance, see the bed and breakfast and the sandy roll. Yay! I pass. Everything's fine. Watch your buddy lose it. No, that's a D twenty. Try again, oh. PJ. Why does it? Oh, oh it auto it auto kicks to the D twenty. That's right. That's right, Nick. There now for the ninety eight. Oh, <laughs> that's a, it's lovely. Awesome. It's like if I roll a D twenty, I'm gonna get the bottom two percent of a D twenty. If I roll a fucking D one hundred, top two. Oh. Well, this time it's only D4 because you'd already figured out it's a wraparound world, but it still bothers you to see that coming up. Mm -hmm. um, now, right. for both of you, I'd like a spot in roll in half to see all the way across town. Mm -hmm. See what happens. We got it. I'll... We're good. Four more points. Holy fuck. That's super. That was an auto four points? No, I said D4. D4. Uh, if you'd rolled a four, I'd have fucking laughed until I started to choke. I'd been like, yes, auto points. Auto. I'm going to take that picture Mike sent me and put it up on uh, fucking Facebook later. So, it'll be like, giant Logan threatens Michael. Rah. So, um... Right. Did you make your spot in roll there, TJ? Oh. If you don't, that that'll be okay. Of Super. I don't. You're I busy. You're busy yes. suffering sanity loss, so only Michael gets one last sanity roll as he sees 
the agent's car driving to the woods. He's looking back, but it fails to follow him. It just leaves. Mm. Exciting. Um, I I plan to park the car at the root beer place. Uh, did Did you do your sandy roll already, Mike? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I passed my sanity. This doesn't really bother you. You don't know why the fuck your buddy is all excited. <laughs> He's over there fucking going. <laughs> well, I I did this with the full intent of knowing that this would probably happen. So uh, I park park the car at the A and W root beer. Um, and then super duper. Super duper. I'm like, we need, we need to leave town immediately. Super duper. Super duper. He just um, keeps saying that. You think he's broken inside? Never, never. You need to get the decoder ring, homie. Uh, do we? Do we? Do we need to get the decoder yeah. ring? No fucking. Okay, so here's the thing. If the guy being chased by these guys who are now chasing us told us that we need the fucking Dakota ring. We need the Dakota ring. Okay. <laughs> How can you beat logic like that? By the mm-hmm. way, you both, you both uh, TJ has one too many cards. Mm-hmm. I'm at six. Uh, no, you're at seven. Ah, okay. Hold on a second here. So both mm-hmm. of you check your cards. Make sure you have no play immediately. He's right to do yep. stuff. Huh. I, wonder, please, I wonder. I wonder if you are uh, completely, completely like in a in a dream state because I have the wake up card, and. Uh... Ooh. <laughs> uh, please place your cards on the woods south of the uh, house that has the bomb shelter that you guys love so much. Yeah, in that no. space. No, you have not checked the other houses' backyards to see if they have bomb shelters or not yet. Wanted to point yeah. that out. Yeah. All right. Now, Mike, recording is the fucking way to do this shit. People like these things. Hmm. Yeah, uh, people people like watching stuff. Uh, I, know, I know I do. So. Yes, but you're a pervert. That's different. I'm talking about games, not those kind of games. Mm, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Once you pop, the fun don't stop. <laughs> so, you guys want pull in front of the super duper mark? Um, so uh, I just I just want to be be clear about what what stuff we actually have. Uh, we have um pretty much all of our gear uh, minus a, a bit of oil from before and uh, the warm weather clothes that we stashed uh, at the top of the ladder. Uh, at the bomb shelter. Um, and then we were going to be bringing um, uh, what was it? The uh, We wanted to go we, we wanted to go purchase some stuff but uh, uh, I don't know if people have returned back to their various places since the Bolarama fire of Friday. Uh, they're working on it slowly. So but you haven't gotten to hasn't. sleep yet. It's still, you know, night is falling, winter is coming, whatever. Okay. Well, uh, I guess uh, I guess we we can go and reset and get the uh, couple things we need and stay uh, as far away from reliable TV as possible. Really? But it's so close and convenient for you. In yep. fact. Anytime you go out of the bed and breakfast, you can see it right over there. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I I make it a point to like cross the street and go behind the abandoned building and around the back of the Burlington Fire Station. <laughs> we are we are giving it a wide berth. I see. <laughs> Okay, so what to do now, though? That's uh, we for later. Were, we were resetting from right? <laughs> well, I'm hearing resetting from one and Super Duper Mark chanted from the other, so I'm not sure what to tell you here. Super Duper. Gotta get a ring. 
that's fine. I go to the Super Duper Mart. No problem. In Super Duper Market, Mart, they do have large displays of Oval Team. And okay. if you, yeah. And if you uh, send in, uh, uh, I, I believe it's five seals or whatever, then you get a Oval Team decoder ring. And it says that uh, uh, limit one per household, whatever that means. But right. uh, you're supposed to mail it off to them and get it in four to six weeks. Do they have yep. a display? Of old team? Big one. Do they have a display of the Dakota ring? No. There's uh, a picture of it on the box. All right. Uh, uh, so yeah, so they have a picture of it on the box. I just have a – well, uh, can, we, can we read the box at all? Or does it not mean no. anything to us? It doesn't mean anything to you. You can tell I mean, team what's what's the decoder ring going to do for us? Uh, considering <laughs> the letters are meaningless, and anything that <laughs> would have the letters on it would be meaningless. Mm, good point. You're not really sure. Maybe it would help us decode every letter. It it just it just might. I I feel Ooh. like if we if we search everybody's house for decoder rings, like the ones with children, that might be the only way we find a decoder ring. Ah, nah, 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 nah. Remember, it gets sent through the mail. We can check the post office. Yeah, we just uh, go in the back. Well, we we open up everybody's mailbox, just down the whole street. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Maybe somebody's got it. I mean, uh, do you wanna do you wanna go to the post office and see if? Uh, See if they have a, uh, a decoder ring for you to pick up. Um, yes. All right. Uh, I guess we're we're progressing down the street to the post office. In your car you or on foot? Okay. The, the car like is it. parked at the root beer place. It How is a lot see? easier to carry all your shit in the, uh, in the car. Well, we aren't. We aren't carrying anything. How do we trade? Is there a way to trade successfully? Yes. You you go and place it near his pile and hopefully he finds it or you say I'm yeah, gonna put I it on top see of his pile. Oh, then I'd I'd say I'm going to put it on top of the bed and breakfast and let him go and find it there and he'll put something. I'm gonna on top. put this plus fifteen skill. You could, you could put it here where this X is right here. No no no, don't use don't the skull for X. reference. Don't use the skull use for the reference, Tim. No, the hmm. skull is not there, a good reference an, point. There's an X right here that I have circled on the map. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have uh, my cards covering the map. I have the dice roller also covering the map. Oh, I see a big X. That's lovely. Yeah. You can move the map around yeah. by uh, clicking on the arrow, turning it into a hand, and then drag, click, left click and drag the map around, TJ. Yeah. There's a big uh, X. Uh, I put an X yeah. where where our discard pile should be. That's where you should be discarding the cards. So if you shifting the map around, I don't down near the bottom, is near the bottom, bottom. right hand side. Yeah. Come on, let me fucking grab it and pull it. No, you're gonna fucking do that nice and slow, aren't you? Aha. Watching TJ the technology is really interesting. Yeah, there it is. Uh, what is that? A skill plus twenty-five. Fifteen. Oh, okay. Well, I want that more than I want a skill plus twenty for fast talk. So. I will. Yes, pilot Zeppelin is still in there. You benches. Love that card. Ooh. Yes, you get to see all 535 cards or so, Mike. Ooh, spicy. Pilot Zeppelin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and away we go. <laughs> um, so um, back, back to the task at hand. So we are progressing down the street from... Um, the A and W to the, or no, we're fr going from the Super Duper Mart, which mm -hmm. we purchased nothing. 
We literally went to you, the Oval you went team in, stand. You looked at the fucking stand of Oval Team with lots of fucking Oval Team on it. Yep. And then decided it was hard and went where? Uh, to the post office. Okay. <laughs> you, you, when you walk into the post office, the guy looks up and goes, your package isn't here yet, sir. Uh, what package? Hi. Hi. Uh, what what package? Yeah. Yours. Which? Uh, am I expecting one? I'm not sure. Are you? I was hoping that there was a package for me from Ovaltine. Not yet. Check back tomorrow. He says. Tomorrow. All yeah. the important packages are delivered tomorrow. Well, here's the thing. I mean, you know, old man. Frank's right. He's getting on in age. Sent me down here to pick up whatever package he has. Oh, he doesn't have anything, sir. Ah, okay. No worries then. Is there any outgoing mail you would like uh, me to uh, uh, send off today? Yes, but we'll be back. Yes, sir. Go back to the fucking super duper, Mark. God damn it, you ate walking up and down the street. A perfectly good stolen car just minutes ago. Fucking hate it. Right. I'll grab fucking five packages of fucking oval team. The exact number required for one decoder ray. Mm -hmm. Fucking we'll take charge, that. We'll charge them all to the to the uh, the bed and breakfast. <laughs> yes, sir, says the Back guy. To the post office. Okay. The guy looks at you and he goes, Oh, oval team. Mm hmm. Need to get that decoder ring. Yes, sir. He looks at you expectantly. As you look at pieces of fucking paper that don't look like anything to you and wonder how to make this work. I put it on the counter and say, uh, please go on ahead and send this off for me. The oval team? He looks confused. I want the decoder ring. Oh, would you like some help, sir? Yes. yes. Oh, he takes off the things and he puts them in an the envelope and he addresses it. And he says, what is your address? Where do you live? Bed and breakfast? Yes. He addresses it and he says, what is your name? He leans forward, expecting an answer. Wondering if he has asked too hard of a question. Uh, are, are, is this, uh, this is at Tim, right? I just start glaring at the guy. He waits. He waits like no oh, name. He repeats. Holborn Maddox. He wonders how to spell it and decides not to ask because it may get punched in the head. He I writes mean, you, something on it. You can you can put uh, uh, attention room I. He does so. And he goes all right. I'll let you know when it comes in. It says here it's four to six weeks. Perfect. Great. He puts a mail letter through uh, one of the miscellaneous slots on the wall behind it. There you go. Thanks. Yes. All right. You stuck working here by yourself all day? Uh, today I am, but don't worry. Saturday we're off after only two hours of work. Sounds I bet you awesome. work every Friday, don't you? I really do. Right. <laughs> All right. So you want to buy something other than oval team from the super duper mart now? What? He says. Hmm? Tim, do you want to buy something other than oval team from the super duper mart? No. Do you guys want your oval team? He says with all these fucking oval team boxes with holes in them. He's holding them up. I certainly don't. Okay. I get over team, he says. Puts them back. You got it right. Under, under his counter. He looks with you. Pardon? Did you get a Dakota ring yet? No. No, I I would, but I have no seals. They're, they're, you just said just now you were here and you had me you, you had me take off these. And put them in the. Well, that's and why then I, I asked you if you had already gotten your decoder ring. I don't need a decoder ring, but thank you, sir. Do you know if anybody in town's got their decoder ring? I don't think so. It's a brand new promotion. Mm. <laughs> so 
to the Caves of Doom. <laughs> this Friday is the first oh. day. God damn it. <laughs> we should, I don't know. I... Who? He says, I I don't want to have interfere. You, he said, have you ever Lady heard Ford of a place Lady called Friend? I don't want to interfere. Have you ever heard of them? But isn't your name really Jesus Christ? That's a myth. <laughs> oh, sorry. What were you saying, sir? Uh, have you ever heard of a place called Halfway In? No, sir. What about uh, just the tip? No, sir. Okay. He looks completely <laughs> innocent at this. Just making sure. Yes, sir. Right. All right. Let's go on our journey to death. But first, let's uh, go to the TV place. No, I'm not going uh, there. Yeah. What What are the fucking... Yeah, totally. We got a fucking... Uh, TV. Yeah, we need a TV. I want to check out a TV. You are welcome to buy all the TVs. Awesome. Got two reliable TVs. Where do you want to hide while he's in there? I am at the A&W root beer place drinking a uh, a root beer float and playing pinball. No problem. Yes. The pinball machine is your bitch. So, meanwhile, TJ, you go over there and uh, they've got like some guy is is talking to a dude who looks vaguely Chinese on the TV, but you can't hear. There's no volume out here. Right. I fucking yeah, I fucking hate splitting the party. I head back to the fucking goddamn pop store or whatever the fuck it is at A and W. Or you go back to the place yeah. where you got pretty ring. You find other guy playing pinball again. I want the next game. <laughs> he ignores you and continues playing mindlessly pinball until he says something. You know, they could be walking up behind you right now. <laughs> I'm giving him a card for that one. That's fucked up. <laughs> Here's your card, sir. Uh, so, mm-hmm. He just ignores you and continues playing pinball. Apparently, this is how he deals with Sandy loss rather than taking it. <laughs> That's fine. That's right. Does he do better? Uh, he does. It's starting to get dark out again. What the fuck is up with that? I mean, it happens every day, right? Uh, please roll there, Mike, for your pinball score. Yeah. Uh, I do not do well. All right. You want to start a new game before uh, TJ can grab the pinball machine away? Uh, sure. But do <laughs> he ignores you completely and continues playing more pinball TJ what do you do I just fucking wait I got all the time in the entire Friday right give me one more pinball thing and it's starting to get even darker outside yep even yep. worse than last time he sucks mm-hmm. <laughs> so oh, uh, right What's the, uh, we're going to be playing last orders please uh, any food with us? Any useless? Nope. All right. Uh, Maddox? Yeah. What's up? I want to get a shot at this. You done? You, you want a shot at the machine? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here you go. Yay. Did you make it oh, so uh, there's no credits left? Can you, can you put oh, an no, orange? No. It's got... Or, uh, it's got do you guys have pretzels? Uh, they they don't. Sorry, sir. We have a hot dog bun that's Nola. rather stale. <laughs> Why would you offer someone stale food? <laughs> well, well, you asked for a pretzel. The hot dog's fresh. I see. Yeah, whatever. Let's just order some food. Uh, and here we go. 94. Ooh. 
Is that fumble for half your decks? It probably is. Right. Uh, no problem. The I'll ball is the ball is the caught. Point. Uh, what you're spending a hero point on pinball? Yes. Seventy-two. Wow. Eh, you suck that. at this game. Uh, your food's ready, sir. Excellent. Let me know when I can try another one. Well, they're closing right now, so maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna play one more. But sir, we're we're closing. Mm -hmm. Time to go, sir. Pew, 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 yep. pew, pew. He, he shrugs and ignores you two and begins setting up the chairs and stuff. Give me a roll if it's really I good. Oh, I, I go and help him uh, set up chairs. Oh, well, now it's everything's okay. Yes, that's better. He stops grumbling and stuff. Go ahead, TJ. Oh, good luck. It's your last chance because after this, he's turning off the lights and maybe the power. <laughs> Check my cards here. All right, and roll. And roll. And you stock. Hey. So, I have a re-roll card that I can use. What? You really fucking got a hard on for this pinball. You, this is what happens when them kids ah, get hold of it. Twelve. Excellent. You fucking grit a great score in pinball. You feel your cock being bigger. You feel like smashing no it against the <laughs> pinball machine repeatedly. No, it doesn't open. Remember, it didn't open last time. Yeah, but nobody got that good. All right. Um, Let me know when people start critting their shit. Ah, right. All right. Well, in that case, let's head out. How many paws do you have left there, uh, Mr. Undead, sir? Nice. How many are you down to, Mike? I have nine. Nice. Sexy time. So... You guys head back to the bed and breakfast? Yep. No problem. We're just on the frozen journey of death. Uh, let's also hit the mailboxes on the way. Just check all the mailboxes. Mm hmm. Now it oh. is at night. Empty. Empty. Yeah, Empty. Yeah, yeah. Bye, bye. Yep. Wait until noon and check tomorrow. Okay, you guys get there. Oh, I, I made some food, but you guys didn't show up. I, I thought you'd be here earlier for dinner. And Happy Friday. Go to my room. <laughs> She's watching them go, and she goes, I it's Friday. Dinner. I eat whatever whatever <laughs> left. All right. Yeah, 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 you eat the tepid food. Great. Yeah. And then you guys go to bed and cut to... It's the next day. When you go downstairs, after possibly showering or whatever, she responds, it's Friday. Mm -hmm. Empathy rolls. Uh, I'm sorry, you cut out there for a second. What did you say? It's Friday. Oh, yay. Uh, empathy roll? Yep. Uh, yep. Cool. She doesn't seem especially hostile, nor especially pleased to see you. Not nearly as pleased as the other days. How about you, TJ? No, of course not. So, what do you guys do? Uh, what, uh, uh, what's got you down today? Oh, I'm fine, she says, not looking fine. It's Friday. You should be happy. I am very happy it is Friday. You know what happens to people who aren't happy, don't you? No. I uh, go downstairs. You are downstairs. Holy shit, I'm good at oh. like, looking around. Mm -hmm. That's nice. where the lady is. She's not in my room. Hey. Right. So we could go uh, sit on the front porch or stand outside and wait until time passes and then check the mail or... Go to the post office, wait to see when the fucking postman leaves and follow him on his route. The lady almost dropped something. <laughs> She's like, oh, are you expecting mail? Yes. That's great. We what want a decoder mail ring. normally get delivered here? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Does it, do you, know do you ever get mail? Not often. But sometimes you do. I don't remember getting mail. You might check by the post office. 
she says, in case you didn't know where mail came from. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. 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 All right. Uh, let's. So uh, just uh, just to get a a clear schedule for our, our day, so mm-hmm. we are going to the hardware store, and right. we're trying to get a compass of some variety. Sure. Uh, we're going to the uh, Super Duper Mart, and we're getting food, non-perishable food. I thought you got a bunch of uh, frozen dinners or some yeah. shit before. You keep saying frozen dinners. We keep saying non-perishables. No, not Either or. Food. Either or. Frozen dinners are just fun. <laughs> you just want us to have, like, fucking Salisbury steak frozen dinners. In the Arctic waste? Sure, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. bricks of unedible meat, maybe. Carbon Hooray! Thing. Hooray! Um, for store for Compass, the uh, Super Duper Mart for food. Um, was there anything else that we needed to grab before we uh, head off on our little excursion? I know that we had. Oh, um, hardware store. You were going to check and see if they had a ladder and rope. Ooh, an animal trap too. Animal trap. Yeah, like a mouse trap. Why? Food. Don't know how long this fucking journey is going to take. Didn't you tell me you estimated about a day? Oh, yeah, that's right. There's no food. There's no animals. We're in hell. Right. No worries. <laughs> yeah, have, you, have you seen a bird or a dog? No, or, that's right. Uh, I, I, yeah, we're in hell. I, I, I keep forgetting we're in hell. Um, right. Uh... I mean, Ow. if all, all right, I so wanted to do is... To stop this, I'll go in the front and chat the fuck out of the guy. You go in the back and see if anyone in this entire town, if there is a Dakota ring that exists at this place, you go on ahead and look for it. I suppose I can do that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there was zero mail in this town. I mean, it's possible. But if we do that, we've exhausted that road, and then we go toward the light. Okay. All right. Uh, so he goes in the front area of the post office, and I try and wheel around the back area of the post office. All right. Uh, no problem. TJ, as soon as you walk in the front door, it's like, oh, sir, your package is here. I'll go get out of the back room. He turns to me and says, I just smile. Happy Friday. <laughs> uh, give me a stealth roll to do the quick mic and duck back out of the way as the dude comes in the back room and you were starting to go in through the back door. Nope. Oh, front door's around the other side, sir. He says to you. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Um, can I just go through here? No, you got to go around through the front door. Okay, my mistake. Just back there, but one on a table. Just Just the one package? Yes. There's nothing else back there. (laughs) (laughs) And he brings you out your package after making sure he goes around the post. Thank you. Appreciate it. Here you are. Hey. It it might or might not have words on it. It doesn't mean anything. Go outside. All right, you're outside. I open the package and look in. Oh, inside of the package, at last, I get something new to show you guys. Yay. Hold on a second, let me find it. Beep, beep, beep. I was going to say, does it look like a decoder? Does it look like one of the rings we already have? (laughs) No. No, it does. That'd be fucked up. That'd be just fucking cruel there. But I wouldn't put it past me because, you know, I do shit like that. No, it looks a lot like this. Except it's a little shiny and a little sparkly. You're not sure what's causing that, but it's a little shiny and a little sparkly. 
Okay. Gonna, and do they? Uh, um, where is this picture at? Uh, top of the page that you guys are currently on. All right. I'm looking at Milkman, the librarian. It's underneath of that, between the curl up and die and the picture of this the street from Pleasantville, I think. Hmm. It's not loading. Oh well. Sure. You're worthless. It's an oval teen decoder ring. Okay. But good. sparkly. Like uh kind of sparkly and shit. All right. Now is this something you look through? What do you do? No. It's a dial. So it has A, B, C, D, E, F, G, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It doesn't um, look like little... anything to you. All right. So none, cool. of, none of those things look like anything? Not to you. Not currently, no. Right. Oh, okay. It's like so it's a shiny metal it thing. Yeah, but it sparkles like uh, unnaturally, if that makes sense. I just start spinning it around. It spins round, round, baby, round, round, like a record, right, baby. Cool. Round, 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 round. Okay. Well, we've got it. Let's give me a, a nice command. While you're while you're spinning it round, could you give me a essence roll? Lower is better. <laughs> Fucking times one. Wow, take a check in essence if you don't already have one. Uh there this is fucking maybe magical. Yeah. Sure. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Great. I look at a fucking sign or something in town. God damn. Doesn't look like anything to you. <laughs> I fucking wave my Dakota ring at it. Excellent. <laughs> Put the Dakota ring on my middle finger and pointed at stuff. Wow. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, I mean, we have it. Um, you have one. We. Uh, Happy Friday. I hope we don't need two for some reason. Hmm. All right. Um, go to Super Duper Mart buy food. Um, buy Present dinner is on sale. Not not frozen dinners. Anything <laughs> but the frozen dinners, really. Got it. Okay. Um, Christ. I think think a How do we know that? It's a, a good point. It's working. <laughs> Seeing more along the lines of uh, getting bags of like trail mix and stuff like that. Um, they don't really and, have trail mix and stuff like that. You have to remember. This is the fifties. They, they trail mix is like a nuts. hippie shit. Yeah, but they've nuts, got man. Nuts. nuts. They've got they got oh nuts. yeah, Gunderson's nuts. That's fine. Peanuts. Yeah, unshelled peanuts is the nineteen fifties equivalent of trail mix. We'll uh, we'll take the old man's nut sack. Uh, they also have, yeah yeah they also have something called circus peanuts. Those must be good. Yeah, except they're giant unshelled peanuts and they're not salted and they're awful. Oh, no, no. These are big orange peanut looking things that aren't peanuts at all. Oh. <laughs> Those are awful. They are fucking hideous. They're the kind of things grandparents like to serve children to torture them. Oh, man. Yep. All right. Uh, are those the ones that are like marshmallowy or whatever? Yes. Ugh. Ah, I can hear T TJ's kid throwing up just thinking about him. <laughs> I believe the child and dog are trying to assert their dominance over one another in the other room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so, not going to change. You've got yeah. a bunch of food. They put it into brown paper and wrap it in string for you. Awesome. Because uh, you haven't got anything to carry it in yet. Yeah, do you guys have Actual bags, like if someone was to go somewhere. Oh, we deliver you know. to your home, sir. Oh, nice. That's great. It's very convenient. So when I'm in the caves of death, you'll be able to deliver to me? Oh, I don't know if our delivery area goes quite there, sir. Mm, okay. As he contemplates the caves of death. 
Uh, right. Oh, hey, let's get uh, let's get some fucking fish. You guys have fish, right? Um, it is Friday. Uh, they have a dead, couple dead fish, uh, but they're in cans with oil. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can you can feel your heart stopping as you look at this. It's just as bad as it sounds, Tim. Right. Awesome. Not a lot of fresh food here for some reason. Weird. Mm-hmm. Kind of like they don't know about nutrients, vitamins, shit like that. Who knows? All right. All right. Uh, are you ready to start the journey of death, Mike? Uh, no. I need to go to the hardware store. Hardware and store, you have, right. And you have no bags. Everything is precariously wrapped in yep. shit. We're just awkwardly carrying it around. Okay. Um, oh, we also like... So, like, uh, we also have not been inside the Curl Up and Die shop or the Flowers by Irene, just to let you know that. Uh, Tim? Oh, fucking A. Let's go into each one of those. I love In the... aw- awkwardly huh? carry everything. Right. It's it, Well, how long of, did you, were, were you trying to get food for? Like, a day? Two days? Uh, two people for two days. Like, yeah. trail trail rations worth of food. We're not like purchasing three meals worth of food. Got it. No problem. Uh, yeah, it's just a large awkward bundle. Uh, let's see. The curl up and die is like the big hair dryer things that women sit under and gossip. Uh, mm-hmm. It seems to be mainly what they specialize in. And uh, mm-hmm. <clears throat> no haircuts going on for some reason. And um, although there are women who have just gotten their hair shampooed sitting around under these big hair dryers, and then I tried driving and I accidentally went into the purse and that didn't work. Oh no, I hope you didn't know George is going to be three and three times a time. And other sitcom talk. And uh, let's see, Flowers by Irene is a flower store. The lady who runs it is named Irene. Mm hmm. There's also some signs and stuff on the wall, but they don't mean anything to you. Mm-hmm. I, uh, Irene, do you happen to have any bags in your store? She gives you a small fucking paper bag that's completely useless to you, but it looks like it would hold several flowers. Here you go. Uh, thank you, but uh, this is a little little small for what I, I'm looking for. She gives you an additional small bag that is too small for anything except holding a few flowers. There you I go. Take, I take the first small bag and I put it in the second small bag and I thank her kindly and leave. All right. <laughs> um, and uh, we go to the, um, the Moo Cow place as well. It's got a closed sign up on it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what happened last time, the closed sign. Mm-hmm. So now you've got uh, two very small bags that are completely useless and mm-hmm. a bunch of food wrapped in brown paper and tied with string mm-hmm. for reasons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, what do you do? Well, if we're going to make one last journey, we can swing by the fire department again and uh, get some other jackets because they're usually rubber, right? We could tie them off and turn those fuckers into... Are you going to ask uh, them for their jackets? No, nah, why ask? We just set another motherfucker on fire and let them all leave to go that place. <laughs> by the way, I would like to point out, when you were walking from Flowers by Rain back toward uh, the, the fire department to set fire to it, uh, it looks like uh, people are working on repairing and, and rebuilding the Bolarama. Mm, nice. Surprisingly quickly. Yep. Huh. Interesting. So it looks like it's almost completely repaired. By tomorrow, it should be fine. Mm hmm. 
TJ looks like he may suffer a nurse. Andy breaks in because it's just been dribbling yeah. out of his head. Nah, I know how to fuck him. He burned down the fucking tool place. <laughs> you can't fix anything if you don't have tools. Real hard to fix shit with no fucking tools. As TJ plots his revenge against the town that was nice to him. <laughs> Run by the There's nothing nice people. about this fucking town. I can't even get a fucking bag in here. There's no video games. Fuck this town. <laughs> Don't even have sports teams. No sports. No sports. Okay. So, are you going to go to the fire department set on fire then, or what? No. Uh, Hardware store. Right, hardware store. Sure. Oh, fucking hey, they have tarps. Right. Uh, give me a uh, luck roll at half. Both of you can try if you wish to see if they have any tarps, because I think they may be out. Canvas tarps, something. Right. Mm -hmm. Those. Yeah. And a third. Wow. Uh, eight. They have a stack of tarps that are very suitable for. Uh, jury rigging at a plus 10 to turn into fucking backpacks that are double <laughs> thick. If you got jury rigging at a plus 10, you can fucking make it into a backpack. Even the holes are in the right places as though they were fucking expecting that unless you got your backpack, you'd freak out and burn the fucking town to the ground. They knew it was coming. They are like, yeah. oh, put some fucking tarps in so they can leave. <laughs> uh, do they have a compass? Uh, that they don't, sadly. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Looks like we'll have to jury rig one. It's actually not that hard if you know what you're doing, but hey, I don't know if you guys know what you're doing. Do you have a I, needle, a piece of wool, fucking magnets, and a can? Magnets? Where the fuck are you trying to get to? I think North is wherever the magnet is. Yeah. <laughs> I think North is moving. Oh, God, I shouldn't have him and carry the magnet. <laughs> I like it. So I'll tell you what. If you give me a jury rig, you can make uh, uh, the tarps. And if you make it extra good, I'll throw in a compass there, whoever's doing the jury rigging. Would you like to yeah, uh, do the honors, Mr. Tim? Uh, fucking low on points, and where am I? I'm not sure. Now, keep in mind that the backpacks will be tested when you guys are wearing them, crawling down the ladder. That's when the results will become known. About Yay. A little bit down the ladder. I'll leave this one up to you, Mike. I'm sorry, what? I'll leave this one up to you, Mike. The Jerry Ray girl? Ah. Excellent. Just after you've gotten yeah. yourself out of the state. You're higher on fuck-up points than I am. Am I? Mm-hmm. By two. He spent a bunch playing pinball because he wanted to better yeah. score than me because he knew you suck. Yeah, we're good. Uh, with the plus ten, it's fi uh, definitely fine. Yeah, but not enough to get a free compass out of the mix. So, you know, you got some backpacks. They may even hold. Yep. Un unfortunately, I was not able to assemble a compass, Tim. Ah, that's fine. Fuck it. We'll be good. If you'd like to try a separate jerry rig roll just for the compass, don't roll now, but you can make one, and I'll ask for a roll when you use it. <laughs> no. That's fine. No. No. Why? What? Because then you're <laughs> using it for a while without knowing it's pointing you the wrong way. And that's fine. Fuck that. What? I'll just use land navigation and try to go from there. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. All right. Hey, so, uh, do they use, uh, what is it, down feathers in their pillows here? Or what are they using for their stuffing in the pillows? No, oh, you're, you're, you're pretty sure it's feathers. You, you've been yeah. sleeping on a pillow like this for several nights. Well, every Friday, in fact. Okay. Awesome. 
no hypoallergenic bullshit. No, it's fucking, if you're allergic to feathers, you're miserable and don't know why. Mm -hmm. All right, well, fuck it. Let's, uh, God, two fucking firefighter suits would be really nice because they're fucking waterproof. Might just go beat a couple firefighters death and take their suits. Make before, we leave, why don't we hit, before we leave, why don't we hit that fucking play death place up late at night once everyone's gone to bed? Oh, no, they're firefighters. There will be at least a couple there. Sleep in the fucking station. Oh, let's see. Give me, I, I'm sorry, I forgot. I will give you each a card for this. Uh, spot hidden rolls on something. Uh, I'm dealing your cards too. Nice. So, check your cards for uh, play immediately and shit. So, bad rolls. Mm hmm. Cool. Everything's fine. You notice that uh, he keeps hiding behind you when you guys are going by the, or he goes all the way around. The abandoned buildings in order to avoid passing by reliable TV. Mm -hmm. Mike, would you like a new hand? I can do an assist refill. Ooh. Um, I mean, I, I like my hand, actually. Do you, you like your hand, Tim? You, you could trade him for something, Tim, and then he could play the assist like, refill. I've you know. got a couple more sanity, break free, clog and greed. Yeah, I'm good. I'll keep okay. mine. Let's uh, let's get. Let's so, do this. It's still in the morning, Ugh. and you guys yeah, are wanting it. to go to the the mine of death. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cut to. You're um, at mm -hmm. the the last thing in the hardware store that I wanted to check and make sure that we got before we left was the uh, um, the ladder. Oh, the yeah, they, they don't really have ladders here. They Wait. have some step stools. They're like the three steps. Okay, and then um, the big, thick, stupid rope. Yes, they have, uh, they have more of that than is comfortable to carry, but they can also sell you a wheelbarrow. No, uh, I'll take the uncomfortable to carry rope and literally sit outside of the hardware store, uncoiling it and jerry-rigging it into usable rope. Excellent. No roll right now. We'll deal with that when somebody's on the roll. Yeah, when that's uh, required, yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love it. Because Tim's always happy to try your crazy inventions. Yep. So you work on making it into actual usable rope. Mm -hmm. Great. Done. Cool. I think we have all the things now. Death. Did you say death? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, great. So you guys head back uh, with all of your amazing amounts of loot and jury rigged backpacks and shit, which unfortunately won't spill as you get over the ladder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you open up the thing and in the bomb shelter, you open up the hatch, the cold air comes out and you can see the slippery water ladder going down into death. Um, do do I think that I have enough rope to reach the bottom of the, the ladder? You're not really sure, honestly, because it, it, you've never really measured how far down it is, but you know, you've probably got a good, I don't know, um, 40 meters of rope, which is quite fucking heavy. I don't recommend, you're not gonna be getting a bonus climbing down the fucking ladder with all that. I'll tell you what, that's why it's best to have it TJ or throw it in hope or yeah. something. Well, I was going to, like, the, the rope we can just drop. Done. Is you hear it. It shatters at the bottom somewhere. Oh, now, no. go on. <laughs> That'd be fucked up. Wow, it got <laughs> colder. Um, yeah. Um, uh, after you, Maddox. Hello. Right. 
Are, are you carrying your axe again there? Because it's kind of awkward. Oh, my shit. Yeah. All right. Give me a climb roll, TJ, and good luck. You want to see what the damage is at last? All right. Uh, roll your roll your three d d six damage as you disappear into darkness. Fucking re roll. Ah, oh, god damn it. Three d six damage as you splat into darkness. Get a five. Try that again. Yay! Yes. Hooray! And you have nothing on you now, Mike, pretty much? I, I have my backpack, because I think uh, we made two backpacks of things. Oh, I, 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 the backpack's okay, it's just the axes are a bit awkward, so yeah, take your bonus. I'll give you a bonus 10, because the backpack's a bit more heavy and shit. That's cool. Um, oh yeah, everything's fine for you. It's only TJ trying to splat himself and die. But again, TJ... If you die, don't tear up your character sheet. There's respawning rules. You're going to find out if you die. So, mm -hmm. you guys make it to the bottom. It's really cold, but hey, look at you guys. You're already in fucking winter clothing. No fucking TV dinners. But eventually, you work your way over to that land bridge. You want to walk across it slowly, or do you want to run or hop or uh, crawl over it on your hands and knees? How do you want to get across the land bridge? A slow, slow walk one at a time. No problem. Who's going first? See if it, they can make it collapse. I'll go first. Give me a climb roll of plus 30. Alternatively, acrobatics of plus 30, whatever. I don't care. You're super good. They cartwheels and stuff. Great. TJ, do you die hardly? Well, yeah. uh, plus 30, I make it. Great. Yeah, you're bolting across there, but eventually you get to the mine cart tracks of death. And those, those look fucking hard. Unless you have acrobatics and just walk across it like some sort of circus freak. So, so the minecart tracks of death or whatever. So this is where I'm going to uncoil some rope and tie Ooh. it around my waist and tie it around the, the metal bar. Mm. Okay. Okay. Done. And then uh, walk across with that sure. extra kind of safety net. Yes. You uh, didn't need it last time, but sure, why not? Sure, why not? Okay, go for it. Mm. I kinda, I kinda Holy shit. You throw yourself up. Did you just spend the pause? Uh, yeah, I did. I see. Uh, that's, I, I, that's, still I, a, that's still a fail. All right, no problem. You throw yourself off. So now, do you want to roll to see if your jury rigging worked, or would you like to spend the pause on your acrobatics? <laughs> Take um, your pick. I think... Um, <laughs> Which is it? Well, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take a uh, roll my jerry rig, but I'm going to have the skill plus 15. Ah, carry on. Carry on. Good for you. 96. No problem. Ah! I, he, he, <laughs> you can hear the pound as he goes. <laughs> One. Uh, he falls for quite a way. You've never heard him scream quite so much as he falls. Oh, okay. after uh, so which we've which spent your... a total of four, four paws on this uh, on this thing, but the rope mm -hmm. is good. Excellent. So he's, hanging from, he's hanging Damn it. from a rope, like the and TJ. He's he's just hanging there, going, "Oh, it hurts so bad." What Not do you do? Make it. <laughs> you gonna pawn knife and cut the rope? Is that what you said? Um, I suppose I could try to make my way across and fucking grab the rope and drag him with me. That's oh no, he, well, he, I mean, the rope's, can, on, the rope's tied on your side, TJ. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll pull him up in that case. Oh TJ, give yeah, me a man, strength roll. You, you don't even need to worry about climbing. TJ's got you, Doc. Go ahead and give me a strength roll, TJ. If you fumble it, you fling yourself in after him, okay. and you may be able to catch. Catch him and swing on like a pendulum. Wait That'll a be a whole too. different thing. Make sure that it didn't just start no rolling. Okay, good. Let's. Third time right now, it's just button. a strength roll. Ah, he pulls you up like you are a fucking fish. No problem. Look at you both on this side. You're you're neither of you have crossed it yet, but you are safe. And apparently, this section of the rope seems okay. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> it gives I'll you a go gentle again. prick toward the edge. 
Okay, so you're gonna walk yeah, across it. Then. Yep, another another acrobatics. A three. Ah, yeah. three.